I'm Mary Ann Chihama and I am going to show you how to make a fantastic salad with Fonio. Fonio is a West African grain. It's like the next super grain. It is tiny, 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 but it packs a punch of, of protein and it's absolutely delicious. When you cook it, 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 the texture is a little bit like couscous. So think couscous, but with a lot more nutrition and uh, all kinds of B vitamins, but it's actually packed with protein. So I, I suspect that you're gonna start seeing it a little bit more on the market. Now, I found out about Sfonio uh, through following a fantastic Senegalese chef named Pierre Thiam. He is probably more responsible than any other African cook uh, for bringing back some of these uh, ancient grains uh, that do really well in dry desert climates. And then also Senegalese food is currently trying to, is being elevated to its rightful place in one of the best cuisines in the world. I'm African, but hats off to Senegal because I'm telling you, I think it has been some of the best food in Africa. So let's start by looking at our ingredients. Now, of course, you're going to start off with a cup of fonio. Now, fonio is, you can get it in a lot of uh, stores now, but you can definitely get it online. Uh, it's, it's, it's readily available now. Uh, so I've got my a cup of fonio, I'm, and I've cut up some really pretty uh, cherry tomatoes. I've got some little, really gorgeous colors here. And this is a diced mango, and this is uh, one bunch of chopped parsley. This is one half of a red onion, chopped, and a quarter cup of chopped mint and about two seeded, sliced, and peeled cucumbers, the juice of two lemons, olive oil, use about a cup of olive oil, and about a teaspoon of salt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take about a cup and a half of fonio, and it's very important that you rinse it first. So let's go ahead and go to the sink and rinse off our fonio. All right, and then pour it off. You're gonna do that two or three times, basically until the water runs clear. Okay, there we go. Now the water's clear. cloth here and just dampen it. Bring out any excess moisture. Then I'm going to put it on top of a double boiler and just line the double boiler with a damp cheesecloth. So I put my uh, cheese, my dampened teeth cloth on top of a double boiler. Then I'm just going to put the fonio on top. And then it's going to steam covered for about 15 minutes. So the first thing I want to do while we're waiting for the fonio to steam is uh, let's go ahead and make the salad dressing. So I'm taking the juice of two lemons. So I've juiced my two lemons, about a teaspoon of salt, and so now I'm just going to drizzle about a cup of olive oil until it becomes nice and creamy. going to emulsify really nicely, so nice and thick. So it's been about 15 minutes that the fonio has been steaming. So what I'm going to do now is going to take it off the heat. I'm just going to sprinkle it with some salted water. Not much. You don't want to drown it. You just want to get put a little bit of moisture in there. Okay. And then now I'm going to fluff it with a fork. Uh, so now I've fluffed it with a fork, 
cover it again and put it back on the heat for another five to ten minutes. We've steamed this for the second time and fluffed it with a fork. So I'm just going to take out the cheesecloth and lay it on a foil covered pan. Because remember, this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a salad, so we want the the fonio to come to room temperature. Again, I'm going to continue to fluff it with a fork. It's so nice and tender. So the fonio has cooled down to room temperature. So now I'm just going to go ahead and assemble the uh, the salad. So I've got my cucumbers, my mint, parsley. Mangoes, red onion, and tomato. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and stir those together. All right, so. Now I'm just going to add some of that salad dressing. I'm just going to do half of it. Now, then I'm going to go ahead and add my cooked and cool ponyo. gently mix it all together. It looks delicious. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Mmm. This is so delicious. Absolutely full of protein and vitamins and minerals. And on top of that, it just tastes delicious. Thanks again for watching another episode of Gastro Soul. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.